Okay, so I've got a Word document here and I've got some pictures in it. And before I go any further, I'm just going to tell you that this is in Word 2010. I'm going to do this also on the Mac Word 2011 and also show you how to do it in Word 2003 as well. So Word 2010 works a very similar way in 2007 and 2013. So if you've got a document that's got some images in it like this one, the file can actually end up being quite big simply because images can be quite big. And the more megapixels you've got, the bigger these images can be. And this can be a problem because now your Word document can be taking up a lot of hard drive space. You might need to upload it or send it to someone and the smaller the file, the better really. So let's just take a look at how big this file is. I'm just going to go over here into my documents and you can see here it is, PIX1, and it is 7.24 megabytes. Not too bad, but you know, would be a bit better if you were emailing it or uploading it and saving hard drive space still can be quite useful. So how do you do it here in Word 2010? Well, before I do that, one of the features about 2010, 2013, and this is something that was introduced in 2007, is that it can save these files automatically compressing the images. So in 2010, I find it by going into File, choosing my options, going into Advanced here, and scrolling down here, I get to Image Size and Quality. Now, I've actually ticked this box here to say do not compress images in file because I wanted to demonstrate to you what would happen if I didn't. But if I unticked that and then hit save, it would actually compress everything. But let's say I didn't have that switched, that little item switched on or off as the case may be. So if this wasn't unticked, what would I do? So I'm just going to hit cancel. What I want to do is I want to compress these images in here. And what I do is I simply click on an image. I now can see up here in my formats ribbon at the top here in the picture tools. I can now click on that and it says compress. If I click on that, I'm going to make it so that it does it for all of the images. And I've done that by unticking this. If I had it ticked, it would only apply it to the picture I've got selected, but I want to do it to all of them. And one of the reasons sometimes you don't want to compress is it can actually reduce the quality that you're seeing on the screen. So you might not actually want to do that. You've now got various target outputs, whether you want it made small, smallest version is email. You've got document resolution, print resolution, screen resolution. So that will govern how much smaller it's going to make each of these pictures. I'm going to click on OK. It did it quite quickly, but this could depend on how big your images are, speed of your processor of your computer, and also just how many pictures you've got in there as well. I'm just going to hit save and I'm going to go back and look in my documents here. I'm just going to click on PIX1 and you can see before it was over seven megabytes. It's now 128 kilobytes. That's tiny. And if I look at this here, the image quality here doesn't look too bad, but maybe if I'd made the pictures a bit bigger, if I'd resized them, well, maybe I, I would notice some artifacts or something there or a reduction in the quality. So how do I do this now in Word 2003? So if you're in 2003, if you click on a picture, you should get the picture toolbar come up here. And then what you do is you click on the compress pictures button. And when you do that, the dialog box will come up. And again, it's slightly different, but you can see here that you can do selected pictures, all the pictures in a document, and you can also change the resolution. So you can choose web screen or print or no change. Either one of those will give you the reduced file size. So if your toolbar hasn't come up, you need to go into toolbars. You'll see that picture is down here. And if it's not ticked, you need to tick it. You can see it's ticked here. If it is ticked, it should be showing. Otherwise, you just click on it. So what about doing this on a Mac? So the way you do it in Word 2011 on the Mac is you click on an image. And here you've got your little tabs across here. You click on Format Picture. And you'll see it's got Compress here. And similarly, you can do all pictures in this file or selected pictures only. So I've got only that one selected. I want to do it to all of them. And again, I would click on OK. So the difference here is I've actually got to go into this drop down box to select the email option and then click on OK here. And it would do the same as in the other versions. 
So that is how you can actually reduce the image size and therefore reduce the file size in any of these Word documents.